Hi everyone, I'm Wendy and I'm the Under Faust Pastor at Causeway Coast Vineyard. Today we're going to be making little wool butterflies. Look at these cute, cute little butterflies. Are we ready? We don't need very many things. These are a lovely simple thing to make. So I'll pop these little butterflies down here. Okay, we need two lolly sticks. We need a pipe cleaner. We need some little wooden beads. Uh, well, I had wooden, you could use plastic beads. And we need scissors and we need some wool. Or you could use string if you don't have wool in the house. But you could use two colours, three colours, just whatever you think um, is going to make it look nice. Okay, let's get started. Lolly sticks, we want to cross them over, make a bit of a cross. And as you start winding the wool around it, it does get a bit smaller. But we want to try and keep it... Um, not so that they don't go too tight. Okay, so we just hold a piece of wool in place. Actually, this one I don't need to leave long. Okay, hold it with your thumb and then just start winding it round the middle. I'll stop what I'm doing in a wee minute and let you see. And this middle colour, I like to keep the same as the colour of the pipe cleaner because it looks quite nice whenever you then put it together but you can do whatever colours you like okay so I'm just going to wind it round just a little bit in the middle okay and then what you do is you start I'm just opening these up a little bit you start making like a figure of eight and you see what I'm doing so you're going from side to side and just winding it side to side and you can take your time and just enjoy doing these I'm going to fill in a little bit there there we go and you want to try and keep it open enough and you see so that it doesn't close over too tight on you so just don't pull it tight tight so we're going to do the next side and across and across I'm just going to push it down and I'm holding it I'm keeping my finger in the middle and just trying to keep it open as much as I can so that it doesn't close completely up because they're going to be your wings there we go now, I don't want to go too far out because I am going to be adding two other colours into this. If you're just doing a two colour butterfly, you can go on out a little bit, but that's where I'm going to go. Okay, and then we're just going to stop it there. And I'm going to cut this piece of yarn. Now, I'm going to go on to this dark pink next. I think that might look nice. So I just want to make sure that I am... Um, I want to leave myself a, a bit of yarn at the end or a bit of wool at the end so that I can tie it at the end. Um, but I'm also going over, let's see if I can show you this, I'm going over that piece of lighter pink as well just to try and hold it in place and I just start doing the same thing backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I can always tie those two pieces together at the end, backwards and forwards. And as I say, just take your time and enjoy doing it because it is very, it's a relaxing thing to do. And it just takes you just to think about that. I think that's enough for that side because I want to add some grey on the end. So I'm just going to cut enough so that I can tie. So I'm going to take those two pieces together and that end piece and I'm just tying a knot to hold it all in place. And then at the end what we'll do is we'll just cut all of the extra pieces of wool to tidy it up. There we go, I've tied that in place and I'm going to go onto this side. Leave enough of a tail so that I can tie it off. And then hold it in place and off we go. Just start winding. Backwards and forwards. Could make these all day, these are lovely to make. I think that's probably enough there. Right, I'm going to leave enough as I say, just so that I can tie a knot in it to hold it all together. So that's the piece at the beginning of that. Okay, piece at the beginning, the dark pink, and then the piece at the end, and just tie a knot to hold them in place. And so that it doesn't unravel. So can you see what I mean that it starts pulling the wings in a little bit but that's okay so long as there's a bit of a gap. Right I'm going to move on to my grey, leave enough of a tail 
that I can tie it at the end and this bit I don't want to go too close to the edge because I don't want it falling off on me so I'll just do another few I'm just slightly pushing it down with my finger just to um, make sure it stays nice and tight there we go that's enough for this gray I think there we I'm cutting enough to leave it to you so that I can tie it with the other piece my knot. One, two makes a knot. Okay. And I'm going to do the same now with this side. So I'm keeping all these loose bits to one to the back of it so that whenever I cut them it'll just tidy it up. So there I'm putting enough of a tail in and off I go start winding. These colours are quite nice together. I'll have to look and see which one's my favourite of these little butterflies. Right, that's enough on there. Because I don't want to take it to the end, I want to leave a little bit of a little bit of the lolly stick at the back. Cut enough of a tail that I can tie it together. And you can just get a little bit of help with this. Somebody a little bit older could help you tie a knot on these. An adult helper could help you, or a brother or sister, or somebody about that can help you with that. There we go. And a knot. There we are. Now I'm going to cut off all these loose ends. Watch your fingers or get somebody to do it for you. Now, does that look like a butterfly yet? We'll wait till you see the next bit. We're going to take our pipe cleaner, fold it in half. We want to take one of our beads and feed it through both parts. Take it down towards the end and leave yourself a little bit at the bottom. And another one. Okay, that's the tail bit. And then what we want to do is put the wings into the middle of it. And then you're just going to twist the pipe cleaner a few times just to hold it in place. Okay, and then we're going to put the head on. If you had a slightly bigger bead it would be quite nice for the head but I only have the same size ones. There we go. And then these are the little antennae. So all we do with these is we just fold them over and we roll them round. You can roll them round your finger so that we've got a little a little loop on the end and I'll do this side for you. I'm just going to roll it round. There we go. There's my little pink and grey butterfly. Can you see? And they're cute. Let's see them all together. There's a blue and green, yellow, purple, pink and green. I think I like this one. This is cute. But they're lovely. Enjoy making everybody. Hope you have fun. Have a really great week and I'll see you again soon. Bye!